This is the sixth video in the Canon Studio Solution tutorial series. We're about to walk through how to use borders, templates, and green screen. Studio Solution provides a variety of cool borders for your photographs. Just so you know, in this software, borders also include backgrounds, templates, composites, and text. Let's go to Photo Workshop. Be sure you're in the Enhance mode. To select the borders, click on the magnifying glass. You can choose from the borders included with the software or create and edit your own. But for the time being, let's take a look at what Studio Solution offers. Along the top menu bar are categories like Basic, Classic Frames, and Composites. We'll choose a Classic and go to the black matte frame. Now let's say you want to make some modifications to your selection. Click on Borders and go to the Border Workshop. Here you can modify the border shape, color, transparency, and even add text. Now if you shoot a portrait against a green screen and want to add an interesting background, you can do that easily in Photo Workshop. First, go to the library for a photo. You can choose between chroma key backdrops of green or blue. To make proper adjustments, we should bring in a background at this point. Again, Studio Solution comes with backgrounds, but you can also add your own. For now, let's check out what comes with the software. Click on the magnifying glass, and then Green Screens. I'm selecting the background called Backdrop Muslin. Back in Photo Workshop, Click on Dropout, then pick the color of the background, and then, depending upon the quality of the background lighting, we can make adjustments to ensure the best background removal. If you see some of the green background poking out, you can eliminate it by making adjustments here, in Threshold and Hue. Now let's talk about templates. There are some fun ones worth checking out, so let's go back to Borders. Click on the magnifying glass. Click on Composites, and now we see a series of picture frames. You can create a calendar when you click on Specialty. Click on Sports, and that will take you to a baseball card template. I get this request a lot, especially with little league teams in the neighborhood. So let's take a quick look at the card. A text field pops up where you can enter the team name, stats, etc. Little kids get a big kick out of this. Now, Let's say you've got a client who needs party invitations. You're going to need to create a new composite border for a green screen photo. First, go to the photo library and double click on your green screen photo. Okay, now we're back in Photo Workshop. Go to Borders. In the pull down menu, select Edit in Border Workshop. Give your border a description. Now let's drop in our background graphic. This is a photo I took of the Brooklyn Bridge last time I was in New York. You can position and resize the background photo to fit just like so. Now let's add our photo placeholder. Since I'm planning on importing a green screen photo, I'll choose chroma key. If you want to add text, on the left hand column, click on Add Text. In the pop up window, Enter your text, click OK, and then click on Apply Changes. Save your border. We can position and resize the photo to fit just like so. If you see some of the green background poking out, you can eliminate it by making adjustments here in Threshold and Hue. And there's our invite with a new border and image. You have a wide range of choices when it comes to framing your photos, and using templates can definitely help you upsell in all kinds of creative ways. Library of Border Styles Built-in Chroma Keying Tools Specialty Compositions Border Edit Workshop New Composite and Template Creation Next, we'll go over how you can present photos to the clients in a whole new way with Canon Studio Solution.